Welcome to the show now, Creighton senior Grant Gibbs. First of all, congrats on winning your second straight MVC title. Thanks a lot, guys. Thanks for having me on the show. I appreciate it. Cool. You guys are headed to March Madness now. What was your goal before the season started? Yeah, that was one of our goals. Uh, we wanted to win the conference, uh, win, the, win the conference tournament, uh, get a shot to go back to the NCAA tournament, and hopefully make another run. So uh, we're two out of three right now, and we're going to prepare this next week for um, whoever we're matched up with and try to make a run deep into March. Right. Well, well, now that you're going, what's your goal now? To win the whole thing? You know, Coach said at the beginning of the year, our, our school's never been to a Sweet 16, so uh, I think we got to start there. But, you know, it comes down to your matchups and, you know, where you're located and hopefully put yourself in a position to, uh, to go deep into the tournament, and that's what we're trying to do. Now, Grant, you are quite the follow on Twitter. You post some great picks. One of them has you in a Larry Legend uh, jersey. What uh, player would you say you modeled your game after growing up? I mean, there's definitely, I watch Larry Bird a lot. Another guy, um, I'm kind of, I like old school basketball. And so watching a, Larry, a lot of Larry Bird growing up, Danny Ainge was a, a big uh, role model for me, the way he played basketball. So I try to kind of emulate his game. And also Kirk Heinrichs and Iowa guy that I looked up to a lot too. So just try to take bits and pieces from different players kind of evolve. Well, all those players all have a lot in common. Uh, I will also say this Good is for Grant. Yeah. Positive role models yeah. he's looking up to. Yeah, that's very important. <laughs> How about Zadrunas Selgowskis? I want to talk about that. You took a picture of him on your Twitter feed. Now, I know that wasn't somebody you watched growing up. Nobody could stand to watch him play that. You know what? He was there uh, at our tournament, and we, we were sitting by him after our game. We were watching the next round, and uh, kind of snapped a, a pick when he wasn't looking, but we were talking. He was when we used to play. I mean, we our, all of our guys play NBA 2K relentlessly, and uh, we were talking about when you used to play with LeBron on the Cavs. He was like the second option, just knocking down jump shots with him. So uh, I guess I looked up to him in that regard. Yeah, we were trying to figure that. I think that's the reverse photo bomb right there. That pick, <laughs> yeah, that I like it. <laughs> <laughs> now your teammate Doug McDermott, he's being talked about for a Player of the Year candidate possibly. Uh, make a case for him. Uh, I think he means the most to our team in terms of all the guys that are uh, up for that award. Obviously, there's some great players um, in that category, but you know we won we won a one many games if it wasn't for his contributions this year. And uh, everybody's been gunning for him. He sees doubles and triples every single night, um, but he's been able to to have as good of a season as he did last year, and it's been a pleasure playing with him and. You know, I think he's as deserving as anybody for that award. Now, with his dad being your head coach, you guys hit him a hard time uh, in the locker room? Yeah, I mean, it's kind of gotten old by now, but, um, you know, we're, we always give him a rough time about, you know, his dad being coach and kind of that whole dynamic. So it's actually worn off now in year three, but, uh, you know, when it first started, we were riding pretty hard. Also worn off is the love between you and Gonzaga, which is your former <laughs> school, who's now number one. Tell me you have some added motivation going in that tournament to take them down. Oh, no, it nothing like that. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm far removed from there now. I'm really happy where I landed. Obviously, they're having a great year, and I don't have any hate towards them or anything like that. Um, it's really cool to see a school not in the power six to be ranked number one, so I think that's great for college basketball. and. Um, like I said, I don't got any resentment or anything towards the university. See, he would be a great politician. He would. I know if you left a squad, Danny, because I'm not happy to see them number that's why one. You would make a horrible politician. Uh, horrible, too. horrible. <laughs> Graham, before you go, I want you to be a role model to other kids in school. I see behind you on that shelf is what I call the student survival kit. Take me through it. And I got uh, my Xbox, obviously, a must have. Um, right next to that, I got an air freshener. Uh, keeping the room nice and clean, making it smell good. Um, and then I got the Wire box set, uh, one of my favorite TV shows. Uh, I've watched it twice now. I'm thinking about giving it a third time run through. So three things you probably need to have in your apartment in college, an air pressure, your Xbox, and the Wire. Now, which Wire character do you model your game at? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm not going to say Omar, but... Um, Probably uh, season five is my favorite. Uh, I like Michael. He was a great character that came in, kind of launched his uh, solo career based on that that uh, show. So 
I'm going to go with Michael as my favorite character. Shocking. He's going with my, I thought he was going to go with Carcetti or somebody of that ilk. Fresbo, maybe. Fresbo's a close second. <laughs> Fresbo, I can see that. Thanks so much for joining us. That is Grant Gibbs, Creighton Senior Guard. Congratulations. Good luck in the tournament. I'll see you on the other side of the wire. Sounds good. Thanks a lot for having me, guys.